Hey guys, welcome back to True Sound Studios. I'm Wiesna, and today I start a brand new series of videos called Soloed Questions, where I just answer one of the most popular questions that I get asked. So today is why did I switch from the big Allen Heath mixer to the SSL X desk and the analog gear? When I first bought the Allen Heath, that was probably seven, eight years ago, that was a time in my career where Every client that I worked with physically came into my studio, recorded on, you know, onto that mixer, and then I also used the mixer to mix the song. So every single one of my clients was physically recording and that's how I got my clients. Now we look at where I currently am for the last couple of years now, it has been 100% online mixing and mastering. That's really the thing that I feel like I excel at the most is doing the mixing and mastering. That's why I stopped doing the recording. So having that big Allen Heath mixer, now that I wasn't recording anymore, the whole left side of the mixer really wasn't getting used anymore, except for the occasional times where I was tracking some of my own drums. Uh, something else that I noticed is that as the plugins started to get better and better, I actually started to notice that the EQs you know, maybe weren't as great quality as I once had thought. I was noticing some harshness in some of like the upper mids and highs. And so I, I actually stopped using most of the EQs when I was mixing. So all those built-in EQs that were on the, on the mixer. So at that point, you know, now I'm just feeding analog signal into this board and I'm just using it for analog summing. So to have this massive mixer and just do analog summing just didn't really seem like it was really worth it anymore. Now, don't get me wrong, the 40 mic pre's, the 40 EQ's, you know, 44 inputs on mix down was amazing. I mean, that was, it was, the flexibility was crazy. But after I stopped recording, after I stopped using the, the EQ's, it really just felt like it was a summing box, a very big summing box, and a, and a monitor controller. Also, at the same time, I started getting into buying more and more analog gear. And that is really where I had the biggest aha moment, was the analog gear was doing more for my mixes and improving the sound than just sending signal into the mixer. What I started to realize is really what was getting me a better sound was the analog gear. It wasn't necessarily the mixer. So I decided it was time to get rid of the Allen Heath. It just, you know, for me personally, in my situation, in my career, it just wasn't gonna work out anymore. Um, yes, I put a ton of time into it, but it went off to somebody else who's gonna appreciate it just like I did. And I moved to an SSL mixer. So Alan Heath, really, I mean, that mixer, you know, depending on who you talk to is, I mean, it really was a live mixer, right? It was never necessarily meant to be in a studio. Yes, with some modifications, I definitely got it to sound good. But I think as we can all agree, SSL has been known to make amazing mixers. Yes, this is a small SSL, but it really does have a better audio fidelity than the Allen Heath. And that was the big reason why I wanted to do the upgrade is as my career progressed, the caliber of artists that I was mixing and mastering was increasing and I needed the gear to kind of follow that. So having the Allen Heath and doing the analog summing with the gear that I had at the time, compared to now having way more analog gear in a much smaller mixer that yes, is less flexible, this combination, I can assure you, definitely gives me a better audio fidelity over the Allen Heath. So I'm not saying that Allen Heath is bad at all, okay? It, you know, depending on what you're doing, that, that mixer can be incredible, especially if you're doing a lot of recordings. I mean, having all those faders, all those channels is really amazing. I just don't record anymore and therefore it just, it just wasn't working out. Now, yes, I do have the SSL X desk and it is limiting because I don't have as many channels, but I bought one SSL X desk. The next thing for me to do is to get two of these or get the SSL Expanda. <laughs> it's, uh, it's another, I think it's 10 or 12 channels. And that would really, that would really be absolutely perfect. I would really feel like there is zero restrictions on it. SSL actually doesn't make the Expanda anymore, um, which is fine, because I would literally just get two SSL X desks. I would use all 16 faders to actually mix, and then I would use the other 16, we'll call them alternative inputs, 
as, you know, after I print those analog channels back in the DAW so I can make mix revisions. When I did the, the final digital summing, I would actually bring that back out through those alternative inputs. And then there would literally be no compromise in quality at all. So guys, I hope that answered the question about the Anil Heath and the SSL X test. Please let me know if you guys have any other questions about the Allen Heath or anything related to audio, and I will definitely bring it up in one of these soloed questions. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Check the description box down below for any of my mixing and mastering rates if you're looking to get a song mixed or mastered. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.